Hi there folks, this is Dawn at Affordable Desert Living. And today, this is a really short video, uh, I just want to talk about hats, and very specifically the hat I'm wearing. This is a, a Tilly hat, T-I-L-L-E-Y, and they're made in Canada, just like me. And I absolutely love them. I've had this hat probably for, I think about two years now. Now only one issue, I wear them a lot, and with sweating and working here, they get really, really dirty. So, if you look at this guy, you can see the big culprit is sweat stains. You know, when I'm digging and working in the yard, it just is part of life. And I learned a unique thing about sweat stains with human beings, that each person's body chemistry is different, and so you can't really just sell an over-the-counter uh, hat cleaner that works for every person. Very interesting. Well, the cool thing is, just by good luck, I stumbled on a great way to clean these hats. And so I'll show you. So being a wildlife guy, I've known about Dawn dishwashing liquid since the 80s. I think I became aware of it first with the spill from Exxon called Valdez. And they used and discovered that good old Dawn dishwashing liquid would take the oil right off of seabirds. So let's give it a go and I'll show you. So first I take a cup of water and uh, get the hat all nice and wet. That should do it. So then you just start scrubbing. I kind of start with the brim first, although it really doesn't matter. And the material on these is really well made, so you don't have to worry about hurting your hat by using the scrub brush on it. And around the back of the hat, Although that stays pretty clean because nobody sweats much there, or at least I don't. So I figured anything that cleans oil off of seabirds should clean human oil and sweat off of fabric. So this guy is now really soaked up nicely and uh, hopefully um, most, if not all, the grime is has been uh, taken out by the Dawn dishwashing liquid. Now we can give it a rinse. And just like that, remember how ugly and dirty it was? It's like a brand new hat. A little bit of paint on there, but that's uh, all part of it. There, I even got the paint off. So I'll just hang this guy up to dry uh, with the other hat. These should be dry in a short time. But after I checked on my hat later, I was in for a bit of a surprise. Residual dirty soap congealed in the crown of the hat while it was hung upside down leaving what looked like kind of like a Christmas tree stain. So I discovered something I didn't know about the Tilly hat. Pull back some Velcro. Inside of the crown is a stiff piece of plastic designed to help the hat keep its shape. And for good measure, I just cleaned the brim and every other part of it to do a good thorough job.
one more rinse and that job was done. So with the green hat you'll see I'm now inserting the plastic placeholder in the crown that helps the hat again keep its shape. So good old Dawn dishwashing liquid definitely did the trick and now I've got two brand new looking hats fresh and clean and ready to wear. So some of my friends have said that I actually look Australian in this hat, which is a great compliment. I really love Australians and I've been there several times and I've got some great Australian friends. But it was actually my dermatologist and uh, he gave me a choice of three hats to buy. But I guess if he was Australian he might say something like, look mate. I do not want you coming around here with your face all beat up like you've been running face first through the mulga. Won't have any part of it. I mean, why do you come, come to my office with your face looking all fried and complain when you don't even wear a hat? Buy a bloody hat, mate. So apologies to all of my Australian friends for that not so great Australian imitation. Um, uh, I hope you won't think too bad of me and uh, give me a little slack on that one. You're welcome to do your best Canadian accent and uh, uh, <laughs> give that one a go if you want. And for all the folks that watch these videos, I really appreciate it. And uh, I hope this one was helpful in some way. And uh, I'll leave a link down below to where you can buy one of these. They're not cheap, but as I said earlier, they've got a lifetime warranty on them, and it doesn't matter what you do to them, Tilly will replace them. Thanks for watching, folks, and we'll see you on the next video.